Hello everybody, back here again for their vlog a day, and today is Saturday the 2nd, and today was a nice day outside in that, you can't really complain too much, um, no more snow, just a little bit melting off, not a lot, kind of windy and whatnot, but one of the good things that I have, probably the most exciting news I got today, is I heard, heard from my buddy that he thinks my dirt bike is done, so he's saying it's going to be safe to head up and get it tomorrow, um, not sure I fully trust him. He said it was going to be ready a long time ago in the past, many, many times, and it never was. But I did hear it running um, yesterday through a little video he shot of it on his iPhone real quick for me. So I'm feeling a little bit more confident there. I've got to run down to the shed and get my ramps and stuff for it, so I'll probably go ahead and do that. Um, hit the gym today. I was going to take my bike, and I just kind of screwed around a little too late in that and ended up realizing it was going to be dark before I got back. I still haven't got any good lights for a road bike yet and that kind of thing, so I went ahead and put it off. Plus, the bike's all nice and shiny and clean. I kind of hate the idea of getting it out and getting it all slopped up, muddy, and sandy covered. Plus, I need to get a new rear tire for it for road use because that thing's been on a train the whole time, and that tire is just pretty flat, bald in the center. And if I hit some sand and some little ice and stuff, whatever, a little bit, I definitely want a better tire than that on it. So. That's kind of be my biggest thing. I think I'm going to hold off and try and save up and get a whole new tire and rim um, gear set up and everything. So when I put it on a trainer, I can just swap the rims out and put it back in place instead of having to actually change the tire over constantly. Because you should never run your road tire on the trainer. It's just really, really hard on the tire. So that's pretty much what I'm worrying about right there. Um, also, um, Tiger Direct has my new hard drive coming to me. That's a good thing. Um, there's really, oh, I got a couple new things in the mail that I ordered from, like, woodworking. I got a new a couple new woodworking bits. I got some um, plans to build some new projects. And I'm going to hopefully maybe take those plans with me tomorrow and pick up all lumber to at least build um, one of each. There's three separate things. And I think I might go ahead and buy up that lumber and whatnot and get that stuff ready to go. There should be plenty of room for that lumber and the bike both in the van. That won't be a big deal there at all. So... Other than that, um, not a lot going on today, just kind of, I don't know, I've been feeling a little in that weird kind of thing, I've been having crazy, like, junk food cravings, I don't know what the hell is going on with that, it's driving me absolutely crazy, um, I'm, I thought I'd whipped all that stuff, but I started eating kind of semi-bad, and I haven't got back up to Sam's Club, I could buy my, um, my boneless, skinless chicken breast at Sam's Club a lot cheaper than anywhere else, and I haven't been, haven't got up there and got more. I need to just break down and say to hell that pay the extra 10 cents a pound or 15 cents a pound, whatever the hell it is, and get to making more of the healthy stuff again. So that way I can get out of this health food or this junk food kick, hopefully, because it's just driving me crazy. Plus, I get my really late night cravings, which just also driving me nutty. I know it's a horrible time to eat right before I go to bed, but I just haven't been able to whip it here lately. So anyway, that's all I know for now. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.